Africa's agricultural potential is enormous. Over 60% of arable land that is not under cultivation globally is found in Africa. We see agriculture as the single greatest potential source of inclusive growth and the ability to create employment on the African continent. But we need to do everything we can quickly and then show that we're reaching and benefiting smallholder farmers, women, children who otherwise wouldn't have enough to eat. 70% of Africa's population is under 35. There's 10 million young Africans entering the job market every year. In spite of the fact that Africa is a youthful continent, the contradiction is most of the farmers are over 50 years old because farming has not been seen as a business. Their image of agriculture is an image of their grandparents toiling and scratching the earth and yet remaining poor. It's not just the kind of farming that our parents do, but a major business. For me, it was important to come here and say, it, what are solutions? I saw a solution where private sector said, governments have given this to the women's group, organized them in cooperatives. We will make sure that they have access to seeds, fertilizer, you name them. We'll buy their products and sell it outside. We must find a way of creating investment opportunities. I am an investor. I'm an investor because back home in Uganda, I own a little farm. Every farmer in Africa is an investor. Any government that creates the environment that attracts the businessmen and women to invest in agriculture, creating a lot of jobs. The Grow Africa initiative has shown that there is much clarity in defining the reality, but also looking at the ambition that is possible. And the job that Grow Africa has done over the last couple of years is reduce that gap. And I think that that's really shown us the possibilities for ambition for post-2015. Many partners are going to engage more and more in Africa. Working in these partnerships over the last 10 years has been a great adventure because we're absolutely convinced that this is the future. This may be the beginning of the end of aid dependence on the African continent. And that's what we're really driving at. Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, on behalf of the World Economic Forum, I would like to thank your leadership, your commitment, and also the expertise that you have offered today. My greatest hope is that with our numbers, with our resolve, with our opportunities, Africa will rise.